So this question starts off by providing these two equations here. Um, we're told that y is equal to negative 1.5, and then we're also given that y is equal to x squared plus 8x plus a. I'm going to combine these two equations and just write this as a single equation, which says negative 1.5 equals x squared plus 8x plus a. And um, I'm going to actually add 1.5 to both sides because typically we want this to equal 0. It could be wrong, but let's just see. So I have 0 equals x squared plus 8x plus a plus 1.5. All right, if I'm wrong, I can always change that really quickly. The question says, in the given system of equations, a is a positive constant. Okay, so we know that this value must be positive. The system has exactly one distinct real solution. So that's very important wording here. That should trigger something in our mind. What is the value of a? So this idea of one distinct real solution comes from the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac from a quadratic equation, which is exactly what we have here. Um, b squared minus 4ac, when that equals 0, we know that we have one distinct real solution, right? So if it were greater than 0, we'd have two distinct real solutions. And if it were less than 0, we'd have no real solutions. We'd have, in fact, imaginary solutions. So hopefully that sounds familiar to you. So then we're going to use this knowledge of the discriminant in order to figure out what a has to be to make this true. So for us, and I'll use a different color, um, our a value, which is kind of weird, but so we're going to have two different a's. We have this a and we have this a. And they're different a's, by the way. So the a here, and I'll put double lined or triple lined, two, three, represents the first coefficient in the quadratic, right? Which we don't have one, which means it's one. So we have a equals one. And then b is there where we expect it to be. It's a coefficient in front of the middle term. So we have b equals eight. And then c, um, in fact, I should look over here. So a is one, b is eight. And c is actually going to be all of this, right? Because a is a constant. We're adding 1.5 to it. So it's going to be all of that. So c is equal to a plus 1.5. So when I plug all of this into our discriminant, I have eight squared, which is 64 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is a plus 1.5. So in simplifying this, I'd have 64 minus uh, 4a minus 4 times 1.5, which is 6, so minus 6, which would give me 64 minus 6, which is 58. So it becomes 58 minus 4a. Again, equals zero, right? Because we're trying to recreate this equation here. And I would then subtract 58 from both sides, go up here for more space. So I'd have negative 4a equals negative 58. I then dis divide both sides by negative 4. So in my calculator, 58 divided by, in fact, I'll just reduce this. So, well, 58 divided by 4. I get 14.5, so A is equal to 14.5, and there's our answer, right? So our answer is 14.5. I'm sure the fraction version of that will work as well, but why do that? The decimal is easier to find.